As you are aware, grain fodder is a primary source of nutrients to the cattle and so it is very important to ensure its availability around the year. Depending on the season, multi-cut varieties of maize, barley, sorghum are cultivated in the summer and rainy seasons, whereas persim, oats, mustard are grown during the winter and spring seasons. In this video, we are going to take you through the different steps in the production of green fodder. So make sure to watch this video till the end. First, we need to plow the field to loosen the soil so that any unwanted stones or weeds can be removed. It is important to remove these weeds otherwise they'll eat up the nutrients in the soil and will hinder the full growth of water plants. Once the field is cleaned up, we can start putting cow manure in the field to provide the nutrients required for the optimum growth of these fodder plants. Next step is to add seeds in the soil. Make sure to get the best quality seeds and to consult with your local KVK scientist to find out the right quantity and combination of seeds to be sown together. After adding the seeds, plow the field again to mix the seeds thoroughly with the upper layer of the soil. As a last step in the sowing process, flatten the surface to cover the seeds with soil. Depending on the weather, you may need to irrigate the field every 10 to 15 days to provide water to the plants, which is again essential for their optimum growth. It would take 25 to 40 days for the fodder to grow to a size where it is optimum for cutting. You can either feed the cut grass as is to cattle or chop it into very fine pieces in a shaft cutter, mix it with a dry fodder and feed this mixture to the cattle. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share it. Also subscribe to our channel Rescue Mom for more interesting and informational videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.